Welcome everyone to another erotic bedtime story and not just any normal one this time. Thanks to you guys, my little freaks who like to listen to my naughty stories and I've made it to up to 200,000 downloads, something I never thought I would achieve and I want to keep going and keep growing. And thanks to you guys, even my podcast as a whole has had over 200,000 downloads. And if you guys will follow me, please share my podcast, find other little nymphos and freaks just like us and get them hooked on me. (laughs) With that being said, this is 200,000 download special which is a complete freestyle off the top of my head I know it's supposed to been post this but I've been working and everything else is going on but with that being said before I get into the story let me knock out a couple things here and there follow me on all my social medias Facebook YouTube Twitter even like Tumblr I revamped my SoundCloud and I'm on Razzle, and I have a Discord now, which you can also share your naughty stories on my Discord, and they're all at Poet Soul Thirty. I'd appreciate the love and support from you guys, because you guys make podcasting fun for me. And also, another update before I get into the story: Halloween is coming. And I know last year I was supposed to put out my creature, my Children of Night series, and I didn't have the stories finished. And also, a lot of stuff happened. But anyways, this year, you're not only going to get those stories from last year, but also a couple more. And as I normally do, my erotic stories stay on my erotic bedtime story. Besides the Valentine's Day show, there is a BDSM story. On the Valentine's Day show. So you might want to listen to that. But with that being said. Let's get into this story. I'm going to play a little music. As I get my mind right. Because this is coming completely. Off the top of my head. You walk in from a long day. I hear your keys as you drop them in your briefcase. Then I hear you calling my name. And you find the little note I left you. That says, come in the room for your surprise. I hear you open the door to the room and then you gasp as I'm laid spread out in your favorite position bent over ass fully in the air and exposed just how you like me and you ask what do I do what did I do To earn the surprise. I say. I just wanted to surprise you. I hear you unbuckle your belt. And take it out. Of the loops of your pants. And then I feel that sweet and familiar sting. On my ass. Whack. Whack. And then I feel your tongue licking the same spots you just spanked. To 
telling me tonight pleasure is pain. But you'll also reward me taking it. Hold on one moment. Sorry about that. I got a message and it kind of got me out the mood. Hold on. Oh, yes. Talking about pleasure and pain. As your tongue moves from my cheeks right to my sweet wet pussy. Lapping and licking and lip licking and lapping and making me even more wetter than what I already am for you. Teasing and enticing me. Feeling like I'm going to come just on your tongue. And then I feel your fingers explore my holes. One in my ass, two in my pussy. As you're sucking and licking on my clit. Finger fucking me in to submission. I quiver because I don't know how long I can last in that position. Because you're about to make me come so hard for you and then you stop like you realize like you recognize like our bodies are so in tune so you know I was about to come and you say no 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 not yet not tonight I'm gonna enjoy my surprise and take my time while I'm in between those thighs, I feel you unzip. I hear you unzipping your pants and lowering them to the floor. And then I feel him, every inch of you entering me. My favorite part, well, one of my favorite parts of you. I moan in pure pleasure of you being inside me, hitting it from the back. First you start slow, grinding and making sure every inch of you is in me with that little, with that hook. I start throwing it back because I want you to go faster. And harder. I want you to keep going. I don't want you to play games. But you always love teasing me, don't you? You always love it. So you pull out and slap my ass with your dick and tell me, no, no, no. I'm in control tonight, remember? And I say, yes, sir. As you slide back in. Ooh. I throw my head down. Into the mattress and let you go to work. Slamming into me. Pounding my pussy. Into submission. Thinking I'm about to come one more time. And you stop. And then you put me on top. And you tell me to ride you. And ride you is exactly what I do. But I feel your hands on my hips as you're focusing and trying to make sure I don't come too quick. I don't bust too soon. But you know I can keep going miles and miles and miles and time. After round, after round. But controlling my orgasms is something I'm kind of not used to. So as I'm riding you and feeling your hip, feeling your hands on my hips, caressing me, yet controlling me, 
I feel your teeth on my nipples nibbling and pinching and pulling <sighs> then I feel you start slamming into me into me. sorry about that um <sighs> kids um oh yeah you were controlling me while I'm on top Riding and grinding on you, not knowing if I can control it anymore. I know what you want. You want that one powerful orgasm, that one that's gonna put me out all night long. And all I want is to just keep coming on that deck of yours. And then I feel one of your hands slip off my hip and a finger go straight at my ass as I'm still riding you. And you tell me in that smooth, deep, sexy tone that reminds me of my coffee in the morning. How you want me to come on your dick just like this right now. And I do, I ride and come on you two, three times. Your dick in my pussy, your fingers playing with my clit in my ass, sending my senses into overdrive. It's, it's intoxicating, it's better than any drug I've ever had. When you make me come like this, you get me addicted to you more and more because having orgasms like this is way better than anything else I could think of. You get me thinking, not really thinking, you get me raw and open and you make sure all my emotions, all my feelings, everything is focused on you at that one time thank you guys and I just wanted to do this story just as a appreciation and wanted to say thank you for getting me to this point and I hope you guys enjoy everything that's coming up for Halloween and everything else in the future and also there's a possibility I might be starting to only fans for my ASMR erotic stories, but there will be another ASMR special coming up. I just don't know if I want to do it on Halloween or not yet, but you guys can comment down below and let me know. And you guys can even tell me what is your favorite erotic story, poem, or anything that you've heard from me and check out my Valentine's Day show because that's my first BDSM erotic story. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a good night, good evening, whenever you're listening to this, and sweet wet dreams. Bye, guys. <laughs>